All right. Hi, everyone. It's good to be here. Good to be on tonight. Uh, welcome to the first episode of the Forgecast. I don't want to dilly dally too long. Uh, we've got a great show for you tonight. First things first, we're going to interview one of our favorite people in the world. Uh, second thing second, after we're done interviewing him, we're actually going to go out to the field and see what he's been doing, and we'll get a chance to really delve in deep here. Now, before I start the show tonight, I wanted to let you all know, thank you all for coming. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being uh, a, an audience member. I appreciate it very much. I know I'm not being monotone right now. It's out of character for me. Uh, we're trying something new, trying something different. I've got a lot of energy, and I can't wait. I am ex super excited, super excited. And as Brewski would say, this will be super rad. Now then, uh, before I continue, wanted to let you know our sponsors of tonight. First sponsor is going to be the Golden Warthog, or otherwise known as the Hog. Uh, ads will play afterwards. Uh, anyways, I'm Dilly Dalling. I'm talking too much. Uh, let's go ahead and meet our uh, guest tonight. Everyone, please give a round of applause for Shad Ghost. <laughs> Welcome in, welcome in. How's it going? How's it going? Sorry, I had to unmute my mic. Uh, it's, it's going pretty ah. good. Unmuting good. your mic, classic scenario. Classic, classic. What have you been up to? Uh, let's, let's, uh, how's, how's life been? Um, it's been, it's been going all right. Um, steady improvement. Um, better than not all right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, what? What? Uh, let's see here. Um, we'll get to the the meat and potatoes here later. But uh, give us a little, uh, give us a little juicy droplet on what you've been working on. Uh, what What's your most recent map currently? Well, my most recent map is kind of like my own flavor of Longshore. You know, it's um. Mm -hmm. Taking a little bit of inspiration from the concept that came from like Halo 4, if you notice, there was mm -hmm. a little bit of like a, a longshore taste in uh, one of their maps. Um, I don't actually know the name of it. Um, that's that's mm -hmm. that's that's embarrassing to bring to the TV. Don't judge me. <laughs> um, oh, I'm sure I'm sure you'll be fine. They they'll only uh, they'll only put you in a. Uh, stockade and throw tomatoes at you okay well it's a good thing i'm not allergic <laughs> <laughs> There's, yeah. but yeah it's um it's something that i've been recently working on um there was a b little bit of an older map that i've been working on it's uh waiting for a test to be pulled on it so that way i can start to get to the aesthetics but it's a uh, sort of a, a medieval castle I mean mm -hmm, mm -hmm. aside those I mean I really just have smaller projects gotcha well cool uh, well I can't wait to see them um, but I guess right now uh, we should probably uh, just you know socialize keep talking um, you know uh, I myself have been working on a few projects uh, I've got a I guess it's not necessarily a clan map, but I know a clan who's interested in using it. It's kind of a training map uh, with scripted scenarios. Uh, lots of lots of scripting going into that map. Has a uh, Fortnite sort of style to it, where I can uh, where we build essentially a fortress at the end of the map. Pretty cool so far. Um, very wide, very open. Uh, meant to be a long playthrough map. Nice. Uh, other than that. Of course yeah um I, i'm pretty excited about it i want it to uh be something that other people can play too yeah kind of reminds me of back in those halo 3 days with all those like okay we had a very small palette back then but reminds me mm -hmm, of halo mm -hmm. 3 when just like all these maps were made in foundry and no matter how different they tried to make them look everything just looked the same right 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 Everything cold steel, and strange. Every like everything made of steel. Steel, 
and uh, and uh, uh, chalkboards made of dumpsters. Yeah, I remember the chalkboards made of dumpsters. You know, I I remember most uh, the old style of man cannons. Those were. Man, I do not miss those. Not being able to control the uh, flight path of the player. That was that was pretty helpful uh, addition. Three four three. Thank you very much. I don't I don't think you're gonna see this. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and straighten my tie here. Hold on one second. There we go. Um, yeah. No. The other uh, other than that, no. I've been working on uh, real life projects, uh, developing a video game right now. Uh, pretty excited about it. It's going to be one of those things I try to um, keep under wraps, but essentially it's a fighting game. Not very good at uh, fighting games myself, so it's kind of a death wish a little bit. Um, but, you know, I'm doing my best. All right. Um, and then, um, yeah, what's up? Oh, um, you know, I actually forgot. Go ahead. What's up? <laughs> I legitimately forgot. It's all good. I know, it's all good. Just tell that to the cameras. <laughs> all four of them? Anyway, uh, I think all four of them. Uh, I, I also have um, uh, I just got a monitor recently. A Hueyon uh, drawing monitor. I find it really nice. I can draw a lot. Uh, on it, and uh, it's it's a it's a visual monitor, so it's you know you actually put the pen to it. Uh, it's got buttons on the side. It's really cool. Um, the first one I got was broken on arrival, so I had to send it back. And then I was like, I'll just save up two hundred more bucks uh, after I get the refund and just buy the bigger, fancier version, which was yeah. around eight hundred some odd dollars. Reminds me of the situation I went through with trying to buy a saxophone on Amazon. That didn't go very well. Um, thank you tried to buy a saxophone on Amazon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, it was it was more or less a, a great sounding investment until the the day that it arrived, and I thought that maybe it's like oh, um, maybe you just have to blow a little hard into the instrument. Which I I mean my first assumption on blowing lightly, it was it was correct, because I tried going outside and blowing hard into it. And it made a loud screeching sound. And I'm just like, yeah, this is broken. Oh. <laughs> oh, that is. Well, did you get a new saxophone? No, I traded it in for. Uh, I sent it back, and then I started just like buying a bunch of random junk. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Yeah. Well, uh, will you ever try playing the saxophone again? Yes, and when I do, it'll be careless whisper. Okay. That awesome. Have you ever uh, played? Um, have you, do you other play other instruments? Uh, well, there was this incident back in school. I call it an incident. And the assault as... rifle does not count as an instrument. <laughs> yes. Yes. I mean, not my primary, anyways. Um, <laughs> that's that's a re reserve for someone else. Um, but the I did try to play guitar back in school. I thought it'd be cool, but then again, I was in middle school. Wow, that mm -hmm. that, that that sounded weird. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Sorry, I, I rhymed by mistake. Um, Everyone but does. Yeah, yeah. So I tried playing it in middle school, and I realized it's like, okay, this isn't that as entertaining as a uh, guitar hero, so I decided to put it down. Sold the instrument, didn't understand the worth of money back then, so someone just got a guitar for 50 bucks. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. Good times. Very nice. Well, uh, that, uh, that, to be fair, I can't play any instrument. The only instrument I can kind of play is the ocarina. So, you know, yeah, you've got I mean, you've got a leg up on me. That's for sure. Hey, <laughs> I, I I wouldn't be I wouldn't be so sure about that one. I mean, y you can make it rain. Hey.
Anyways, uh, let me just stare awkwardly into the camera once again, because uh, that'll that'll be loads of fun. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, that sounds pretty exciting. Um, what rank are you in Halo, by the way, while we're here, thinking about it? Um, Halo 4's max rank? That would be 130. Yeah. Right, yeah. And if I remember correctly, you're like, uh, you're level up bar is like a pixel and you just need to play like for three seconds of a match before you can level up I could trip over something and I'd level up <laughs> uh, I, I trip over everything so I'm surprised I'm not like level 150 by now I could totally trip over that cup you could trip over that cup <laughs> Uh, by the way, what do you think of the set? The set? Actually very yeah. nice. I like the the attention. I'm, I'm looking over there. I'd zoom in, but I'd break a little bit of character. But I like how the cameras are set up. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, the the drum set over there, I don't know if uh, you can pan a camera over there, but that's a, that's a nice little drum set. Um, mm -hmm. Someone's going to want to sit there eventually. Eventually, um, yeah. I'll see see if I let them. Yeah, I, I made a made a gesture with my hand and fist to do a punching motion. I guess that didn't translate well. Um, but yeah, I'd say that uh, one of my favorite little pieces here was uh, this little this little cityscape behind us, little silhouette. Yeah, it's a uh, it's my favorite little part too because it's got a lot of. Uh, it's it's harkening back to a lot of late talk shows. Um, I, I definitely like the uh, aesthetic of the sky and the galaxy in the background. Uh, I made the set though so long ago; it's just been gathering dust. Well, if you you ever need another aesthetic hand going into it, if you make that decision, uh, you know who to call. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And everyone, I just want to let you know, uh, this uh, this episode is also sponsored by Shad's Aesthetics uh, and Bacon Media. Shad Aesthetics, you can get all of your aesthetic needs done in uh, a night or less by Shad Goes. And Bacon Media, the one you call for any machinima business, uh, he is in the business to get your machinimas done <laughs> quick. I, I don't know if those are the sponsored links, but you know, I, I try. Yeah, that's that's and and I'm essentially. I mean, don't don't tell anyone, but I would consider myself the discounted bacon media. Oh, don't hurt yourself like that. I think uh, I think are you got you a, me? got a that's lot a under your metal. sleeve. That's a silver medal. <laughs> you know, I, I would take that. I would take that. Um. But, like, well, you saying you're a discounted version of Bacon Media, if you're calling yourself a silver medal, that means he's platinum, right? Color wise? Um. Gold? <laughs> sure. We'll go with gold. Hey, but I think both of you guys are great at aesthetics in my book. You know, I, I've, I've always wanted to uh, tell you guys this, and I'll probably tell him when I interview him, uh, if I interview him. Bacon, call me. Really. <laughs> Anyways, uh, whenever uh, I interview like uh, him and you, I just all I want to tell you guys is fantastic. You guys, just, your work is always sublime. Uh, your attention to detail, everything. Uh, it, it's always. Uh, anyways, uh, it, I think we. Uh, I think I'm being called out to go to commercial break. Uh, we'll be right back after these uh, messages from our sponsors, and when we do. Uh, we'll be out in the field uh, with Shad Ghost on uh, on a couple of his maps to show you the true detail and true beauty that he can uh, really pull off aesthetically. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with the Forgecast. <laughs>
Hey guys, welcome back. This is Rookie. We're looking at Shad Ghost's first map. Okay, Shad. Uh, we're skipping straight to the point. What do you call it? Uh... I, I don't actually... I, I'm bad with names. I like. I literally come up with a name like the last time... Last thing. Cool. Well, let's uh, just call this... Let's call this castle. Castle? That? I like it. Well, uh, today we'll be taking a look at Shad Ghost's map, Castle. His videos, uh, or his YouTube channel, will be linked in the description. You have a YouTube channel, right? Yeah. Fantastic. So, uh, yeah, go ahead and give us the grand tour of Castle. Where do you want us to start? All right. Well, uh, starting here, where I'll have a grand piece with an organ piano here. Mm -hmm. um, we'll make our way through the main hall. Um, okay. Now, oh, this, lovely. It's a scaled down, it's a scaled down sort of version of another project that I was working on, which I couldn't take a full scale creative liberty of. Mm -hmm. But um, making our way through here, now this uh, these stairs are symmetrical. Mm -hmm. Um. Making our way down to the first room, it's got this stairway that goes down and another mm -hmm. way that leads back to red base on the other side. I think it's mm -hmm. red base. It was, no, it was blue base. Well, without colors, okay. it's hard to tell. Um, yeah. Um, there's openings, like, uh, over there, mm -hmm. where people can drop in. Right, okay. Um... I actually kind of want to look Making at these boxes up. a little bit more. Are you going to keep it like this, or are you actually going to change it to something else? Oh, I'm definitely going to change it to something else. This is simply a physical representation of what they are to look like. Okay. Basically, just means that this is going to be cover. Ah, I like it. You know, this, this place reminds me of a dream. Uh, which I always love it when that's the first thing I think of. I like it. I like it. So is this uh, blue base um, again? So this is... Yes, this is this is back to blue base. Following another pathway down here towards red base once more. Of course. Um, you'll see that it's uh, somewhat different yet the same. Yeah, it's similar. I can see the similes. However, I don't recognize uh, this cutout here. I like this cove, the nook. This will probably be uh, yes. one of the more frequent firefight spots if the map revolves around this area or revolves into this area. Oh, really? Because I actually just I, I made that area purely for aesthetics. Well, aesthetically, it's pleasing. Um, but with this, uh, if you put a statue here, that'd actually be really great. I'm thinking like... As as a piece of uh, as a piece of architecture, I like the way it curves, and I can picture an eagle statue there. All right, yeah. Just need to with a little bit of tinkering, um, I'll be able to make it through there, or oh. try to implement either that idea or another. Mm -hmm. We can go ahead. We can go down. We can go down this way. Okay. So, if it's to see uh, the staircase over that way, leads mm -hmm. to the other room. And this staircase right here, which leads right into red base. Okay. So, it's a sort of, uh, it's semi-symmetrical. It's a semi-symmetrical. Um, semi yes. And while I have been running, I have been running a little test to see how a uh, standard Team Slayer would play, mm -hmm. um, I do plan on making it objective-based. Okay. Yeah, I can see the uh, you've already placed down the capture plates and the return plates. Uh, that's always a good start. I like these stairs. I love how they are. Do you have the, yeah, the invisible blockers? Yep, that's what I thought. I really like these stairs. Really help out. Uh, sell the idea. Now, aesthetically speaking, what time period are you thinking? Future, medieval... Certainly medieval, something mm. more vampire-ish okay. sort of castle. Okay. What if you did both? If 
futuristic and medieval. Because I love this pristine white feel to it. I could just be talking out of nowhere. Uh, but, you know, the idea of the castle is always a great idea. Always something I always uh, yeah. can get into. Well, I'll see if I can come up with any sort of ideas pertaining mm -hmm. to that. Um, I, I might be able to pull something off. Okay. Well, cool. Uh, did you have other uh, showcases to show us? Uh, yes, actually. There is another one. It's uh, not exactly something standard like a Team Slayer or even something to revolve around objectives. But it's more or less a canvas. Okay. Yeah, definitely show us that. All right. I'm just admiring the well, architecture here. There's uh actually was speaking of like architecture. Um no no I can't show that yet. Um, oh yeah, you I'll... tease, you tease. Alright, well we'll uh patiently await your uh next project, but let's go ahead and see what else you've been cooking up in the kitchen. Take us away, Maestro. Hey everybody, welcome back. I know that was a quick swipe, so it wasn't too terribly long for you, but that was a fun process. Anywho, uh, we are now in the middle of a hurricane. I literally cannot hear anything. The sound of the rain is too hard. Ghost, what have you prepared for us today? What did you say? What? What? Uh, uh, did you... I can't read your lips. Your helmet is too... On. It, I can't. Uh, follow, uh, follow me. Uh, did you say follow me? All right. Yes. Or did he say bolo tree? You know, uh, guess at home I am starting to question uh, whether or not uh, I can actually uh, follow through with this one. Anyways, uh, looking at the terrain of Shad's current map. Uh, looks like what he's working on is a forge canvas of his own. Aesthetically pleasing, uh, really well made, uh, high points, low points, that sort of thing. Uh, getting a classic Halo sort of vibe from this area. Chad, would you say that you're going for a classic Halo vibe? Classic what? Classic, oh my god. Uh, I'll just, okay, hold on. Uh, why are we yelling outside of our helmets? Let me turn the helmet on. Okay. Can you hear me through your helmet? Yeah, yeah. Let's, oh uh, my god, why were we doing that? Now. We're idiots. Anyways, are you I going for a classic Halo vibe? Actually, yes. Um, upon starting to work on this project, I found myself wanting to recreate something. And... Mm. I remember some people will call me crazy by saying this, but I found that Halo Reach was sort of is inadequate in terms of how they portrayed Forge World. Right. I didn't even do that. Now, okay, maybe not inadequate. Um, I just imagined something different. I was still impressed, but I imagined something different. Of course. So. Well, you weren't the, the one who spent like of, literally 20 minutes crying over Forge World. Yeah. Um, yeah, so if we take a glance and try not. Okay. Yeah, deep, deep water. So, um, actually, with this one, how about you do the exploring? I'll walk behind you and tell you a little about the scenery as we go along. I love that idea. All right. You know, I'm liking the uh, the way the actual rock formations are. They feel very natural, as if you kind of had a a purpose, but at the same time, they they fell into place that way. Like they look like you could just go up and actually uh, carve at them and make them into something different. After a while, I, I like this wall in particular. Yeah, yeah. I mean, 
And upon working on it, I had to do some shaving back because, you know, the size of the map was getting big and mm -hmm. suddenly the game was starting to tell me, hey, you can't spawn any more terrain pieces. Like, well... Well, I, I solved that issue with uh, uh, Bacon Media uh, and he thought it couldn't be done uh, when I was recreating the actual Forge World uh, on my own. I love this cliff part. That's very nice. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting like Halo C E with Halo Reach uh, vibes mixed in for the uh, for the Forge aesthetic and the Forge style. A, a good a good purpose of the map makes you want to explore it. And seeing this area, I, I feel like I want to climb onto everything and explore. And I am in a crack. Well, gosh, diddly darn. Oh, yes. Can I get up? Yeah, um, there's, I forgot, there is cracks. I thought that I'd cover that up with some actual aesthetic pieces. Uh, Need a right. boost? Nah, okay. I've got you. Yeah, there's a lot to explore on this island. I wouldn't be um, surprised if you hit an Easter egg uh, in a couple places. I might actually go and do that. I um, really love that bank. If you take a, if you take a look around this way, mm -hmm. sort of a. Hopefully you don't notice any mistakes there. But if you come back this way, I'm actually starting to take the the canvas itself, mm -hmm. and add something to it. Mm -hmm. ah. um, this is one of the first pieces. Okay. Yeah, this is one of the first pieces of an actual map that I've started developing on it. And um, I figured that once I release the map, I'll release this map that I'm working on side by side. Okay, I like that idea. Uh, what is the uh, piece count for this map so far? Um, well, just under 300 actually. So it gives the person, whoever chooses to forge on it, plenty to work with. Oh yeah, I would say plenty to work with too. The only concern I have is the physics budget, but like I said, the physics budget can be broken, and as long as they don't want to play uh, place terrain pieces and don't want to break the physics budget, that should be fine. Yeah. Yeah. I and besides, if mm -hmm. they're if they decide to convert one area into a map, they could always take other areas and you know kind of like crop out what they don't like. Trim it out. I like it. I also like that beach down there, but I know the water's so deep I'll probably die on contact. Oh, yep. Oh, no. Nope. Okay, almost. Yeah, that oh. water's pretty deep. Uh, yeah, be careful. <laughs> well, I get the death counter first. All the bad dig. Yeah. And just like with the creation of the original Forge World, what I wanted to do is to give people a variety of areas to mm -hmm. explore. Mm -hmm. And the variety of areas to convert into whatever they see fit. I even have a little bit of a, um, a what would you call it, a quarry area. Okay. Ooh, I like this pillar. It makes me think of something holy. As if there's some sort of, like significant meaning to that pillar. I could... Oh my god, I could make Pinnacle up there. You probably could, if it was bigger. Yeah, well, this is a fantastic look. We spent way more time on this uh, map than we should have. Uh, it's a huge canvas, though. I definitely like it. Definitely love it. Definitely gonna uh, uh, be excited for when it comes out. Because uh, this map is going to definitely have a lot of downloads. Guys, whenever this map releases, I'll leave a link in the description to the Waypoint upload. Uh, you can download the map created by him as well as the canvas created by him. Are you ready to uh, take a look at your uh, other piece that you're going to show us? The third and final one for today? Why, yes, actually. Fantastic. Are you ready, though? I am born ready. All right. Here we go. Lead the way. Alrighty, guys. You're here for the last map that we're going to be looking at today from Shad Ghost. Shad, again, 
Thank you for being on tonight's show. I really appreciate it. You're always so awesome. You're always here. You're always there. Uh, and whenever I need you most, you don't vanish like some sort of uh, prophecy-filling humanoid. Oh, dead body. <laughs> Why, thank you. Yes, this map, what we have right here, is sort of a take back to an original concept developed back in Halo 3. Uh, of course, this yeah. This is Fat Kid. Fat Kid? Now, I haven't heard that since Halo 3. Yes, and while there have been Fat Kid maps placed around in Halo 5, I've personally found them to be inadequate, too simple, lacking. And so what we'll be doing today here is progressing through more of a puzzle. Okay, which, okay. Which, by the way, I'm going to totally recommend that people actually solve the puzzle before actually playing the real map, because it is time-consuming. Well, of course, but it's a puzzle. Well, guess what? We only yeah. have a few minutes, so let's go. I'm assuming that remote opens up. Wow, that is the slowest door. Oh my god. Open faster. This will be the only door that does this. Okay, whew. Oh, I was about to be worried there for a second. Does it open all the way? Yes, it does actually open all the way. Okay. Um, this is uh, oh. another set of puzzles right here. I'm okay. not entirely sure. I mean, there will definitely be more puzzles to come. Right. But um, I'm kind of wondering, should I? Should we give some hints towards what this one's about? So well, we can. Uh, what I think would be a uh, great idea uh, is that since we have a limited amount of time, we'll go through what we can, and uh, the rest of the map can be figured out by everyone else. Uh, the first instinct right. I have is uh, pressing this button, uh, which rotates a plate. Good. Yes. Interesting. Does it rotate back? It does rotate back. That's interesting. Okay. That's, it's then... a pretty good instinct. Pretty good uh, instinct okay. that you have going there. I don't know if I should be getting on this cart. Uh, uh no, it's it's the barrier set to the barrier set to blue team, which is the zombies, so I mean naturally regular people won't be able to go in there. Uh, okay. Okay. Yes. So, so if you can find a way out of there. Right. Like come back this way. Um oh. I can't get out. Well then. Um Well, uh well, that's set... it my map today, guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh send me away. Alright. I'll send you away. Farewell. This is this is the slowest I moving hope you know death explosives card. Explosives later on. That leads to a pile of explosives. Fantastic. I am onward bound. It looks cold over here. Well. Yeah. Okay. So I know what you're supposed to do. I understand it now. I get it. Okay. I had to be on the opposite side for me to understand. You're suppo- Okay, I get it now. I just can't go out the yeah. other way. So this will blow up. And do yep. the thing. Knocks yeah, down the door. but you're supposed to- Okay, I see. You're supposed to roll this this way and then- Okay. I, I I I know now what I need to do. I push it very slightly. Stay. Wow, that actually stayed really nicely. And then I rotate it. That is that is clever. Okay. And then I would have pushed this barrel without blowing myself up into. Okay. I like it. And then ow. 
But then... You had good instinct there, which is yeah. the best that I could say for other people that I've tried to test this map with. Their yeah. immediate instinct was shoot the explosive, even though they were standing right next to it. That sounds about right. Alright, so is this another puzzle here? Yes, Ak. Well, sort of. I'm not completely overlaying it with puzzles. Sometimes there's just things Roll where today. you have to oh. break your way through it. Well, I definitely can't get that. Can I push this closer? Well, here. Follow me. I'll, I'll show you. I will show you the way. Show me the way. That's an old meme. I don't think we should be allowed to do those on the talk show. That was a lot of ice for such a little wall. Yeah. So, I'll let you figure this one out. Considering, you know. Oh. Yay! It's like an action film. It like is. It. Sort of. Well, I probably should... Uh, we should probably uh, stop here. Uh, leave the rest of the map uh, for everyone else to discover. Uh, that's it for uh, this map here. But if you want to check out the map for yourself once it's finished, it'll be in the link in the description uh, of tonight's show. Uh, last but not least, we're going to go back to the studio, have a nice wrap-up chat, uh, and we'll see you guys there. I cannot go up my own stairs. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. How is everyone doing tonight? Uh, we just came back from an amazing adventure, as you just saw, uh, where we took a uh, a trip and saw all of Shad Ghost's amazing and incredible maps that he's working on. Shad, thank you so much for showing us that. Uh, any idea on a potential release date for your uh, for your works? Well. That's the interesting thing about me. I don't even know. But to be quite honest, now with all this, with all this uh, coming about and this attention being brought to my creations, I will actually plan on getting them out the door sooner. Fantastic. Well, you heard it here first, folks. Uh, Shad is going to uh, work on his projects diligently and try to make sure they are done for uh, everyone to try out here soon. Uh, file share Shad Ghost, um, add him and favorite him, uh, and take to his YouTube channel, subscribe. He may do a video, maybe, ever, sometime, at one point. 
Um, which you can do with the Xbox Live DVR capabilities. All you have to do is hit the home windows pane, go to your settings, and then change about those fuddle little things. Or hit the home button and then go to uh, the menu option, and then you can change around to record however long you want. That sounded sponsored. That wasn't sponsored, I promise. Anyways, guys, uh, for the most part, we are wrapping everything up tonight. Our special guest, Shad Ghost, has more important things to be doing. Isn't that right, Shad? Yes. Like, actually, um... Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> like, yes, actually not tripping over a, uh, cup. Yes. That coffee table is pretty low. I think I'll definitely want to rebuild this set. <laughs> anyway, Shad, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, everyone in the audience, thank you so much for sticking around to the end. Uh, hopefully you guys have a wonderful night. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, and we'll see you in the next episode of the Forgecast. Uh, if you guys have questions or want to see different ideas pop up, by the way, uh, there is a suggestion box. It's labeled comments. Uh, go ahead and go down below. Try it out for yourself. See if you guys can... Uh, uh, tell us what you think because if you can, we'll read every single one of them comments and you'll have a chance to see your uh, comment featured in the video uh, anyways, thank you again Shad, I'll see you next time alright have a good night everybody